Hello and welcome to Season 3 of the Warrior Way News. I'm Thomas. And I'm Taylor. 2019 has been a crazy year for weather with all the rain and flooding. Speaking of which, our girls golf team dealt with some weather predicaments at their recent meet. Here's Rowdy with the scoop. The Crofton girls golf team competed in Atkinson for their third golf meet on September 5th. Coach Luke DeBlau thought the meet went in a positive direction, considering that two of the players have never played before. Going into the meet, DeBlau noted the biggest hurdle yet is the inexperience of some of the players. When they arrived, the Lady Warriors got to play one hole before the weather conditions delayed their meet. The golf team had a 30-minute break before being sent back into the meet. Freshman Marie Zulita had noted, as we played the other teams, they turned out to be a lot nicer than we expected. While the meet continued on, DeBlau started to notice the girls were improving a lot faster than he expected. I am proud of their scores, commented Luke DeBlau. During the day, the team went from one obstacle to another, completing each of their tasks in the wet environment. As the meet drew to an end, DeBlau didn't judge the players by their score, just by how they battled through the meet. He can't wait to watch his players grow throughout the season. Let's move from the golf course to the field, where five Crofton students completed an obstacle course with a twist. Driving tractors! Now to you, Taylor. Many farm kids grow up learning to drive tractors with their parents. Five Crofton students put their tractor driving skills to the test. At Pierce High School for FFA District Tractor Driving on Saturday, September 7th. The students took a written test, identified parts and tools, found safety hazards on an old tractor, and did two driving tests, one with a two-wheeled wagon and one with a four-wheeled wagon. On the wagon driving course, competitors had to weave through cones and back the tractor and wagon into a tight corner before parking the tractor as square and perfectly as possible. The four-wheeled wagon is much harder, explained Senior Jaren Sage. We have to back it into a very tight space without bringing certain planes with both courses. If the planes are broken, then points are docked. But with all these challenges that arise, there's a lot to learn from this. I learned that it takes precise turns and judgment to be able to get a tractor and wagon precisely where you want it, Sage said. Overall, Blake Zavadil placed 4th, Jason Zavadil placed 10th, Jaron Sage placed 12th, Tom Burback placed 19th, and Nathan Schmidt placed 24th. Let's bump on to the next article with Thomas reporting on the recent Why Not Volleyball quad. The Crofton Lady Warriors volleyball team traveled east to Wynette, Nebraska to participate in a quad on Thursday, September 5th. The schools present were Hardington, Newcastle, Bloomfield, Wynette, and Crofton. The Lady Warriors played their first match against Bloomfield and won the match 2-0. They won the first set with a score of 25-18 and the second set with a score of 25-16. Sophomore Ella Rogge led the team in kills with a total of 6. Senior Alexis Ahrens followed close behind Rogge with 5. Sophomore Lexis Fokers led the team in digs with a total of 15 during both sets, while senior Taylor Schieffer led the team in assists with 15. The Lady Warriors played Why Not in the championship match and lost in two sets. They lost the first set 25-19 and the second set 25-17. Junior Kaylee Einram led the team in kills with a total of 4. Sophomore Jaden Jordan led the team in digs with 10, while Fokers had 9 and Schieffer had 8. Schieffer once again led the team in assists with a total of 10. The team's next match will be on September 12th in O'Neill. The Lady Warriors will also travel to Albion to participate in the Boone Central Newman Grove Tournament on September 14th. Last weekend was the big Husker football matchup with the Colorado Buffaloes. The first half of the game, our team looked really good. I can't believe we lost it in the end, though. Me too. Who would have predicted that ending? Here's Kendall introducing his new spot, Husker Hunches.
Welcome to the first ever Husker Hunches with your host, Kendall Taney. Each week, the Huskers play. I'll be making my rounds collecting your hunches before the game, so be ready to give me your scores. Huskers come into their first game against South Alabama ranked 24th. I took over 35 hunches from students and staff, which just happened to be Nebraska's final score, 35-21. to 21. Here are the top four winners for the first game. Number four, with a prediction of the Huskers of 34-14, Jeff Berger. In third place, Miss Rossman with a score of 36 to 16, and just edging Miss Rossman out with a score of 36 to 17 goes to Miss Wilkins. Number one, with a perfect prediction of 35 21, none other than the best predictor in Husker Nation. Jump roll, please. Your host, Kendall Taney. I promise it wasn't rigged. Now on to last week's game against Colorado. I'm sad to report due to technical difficulty after the game, all Colorado predictions were lost to my dog, Bella. Join me next week for the game against Northern Illinois. And if you see me around, make sure to give me your prediction for Saturday's game where we face off against the Huskies at Memorial Stadium. I'll make sure Bella is locked up. If you see Kendall, make sure you get him your predictions for the next game. Now we have announcements with Rowdy and Jace. On Friday, September 13th, the cross-country teams will run at Skyview Lake in Norfolk for the Norfolk Catholic Invitational. The football team will travel to Bancroft to take on the Bancroft Rosalie Lions Decatur Wolverines. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. On Saturday the 14th, the girls golf team will compete in Pierce in the Pierce Invite, and the Lady Warrior Volleyball team will play in the Boone Central Tournament. Crofton High School will be hosting the Knox County College Fair on Monday, September 16th. The girls golf team will also tee off at the Evergreen Hill Golf Course for the Battle Creek Invitational. On Tuesday, September 17th, the Lady Warriors will host volleyball games against Boone Central Cardinals. The volleyball team will then travel to Pierce on Thursday the 19th to take on the Lady Blue Jays. Friday, September 20th is Picture Day. Wear your best and smile pretty. The cross country team will travel to the O'Neill Country Club for the O'Neill Invite. And the Warrior football team will take on Twin River at home, starting at 7 o'clock. I'm Rowdy Heggie. And I'm Jace Joslin. And this is the Warrior, Warrior Way, Way News. News. Signing off.